Hello, in this playlist, I'm going to show you how to prepare for the user authentication specialist super badge. In this video, I'm going to teach you an approach that you can use for any time you get a big group of information, a big task that needs to be broken down into something that's a little bit more manageable. Along the way, I'll also show you some of the documentation that helped me get through the super badge and give you whatever tips that I can. However, this is a credential, so at no point do I ever give away how to actually solve one of the specific challenges. I just give you an approach that will hopefully make it a whole lot easier for you. So for right now, I'm gonna talk a little bit about user stories and tasks in this video, and then in subsequent videos, go through how I would write the user stories and tasks for each unit. So altogether, this playlist makes its own cohesive unit, so I recommend following the whole thing from the beginning till the end, so you are prepared to be able to complete each one of those units successfully. How do you make something complicated easier? Well, you just basically break it down into smaller groups of information. When it comes to the super badges and probably to lots of like technical requirements or anytime something that your maybe future employer is gonna ask you to do, there's basically five types of information. The first group is use cases, and that's like, what's the specific situation that's going on that we're trying to accomplish here in a big picture? And I always like writing a use case in one sentence because there's just a certain focus that comes when you could really pin it down. The other thing is background documentation. That's just sort of like all of the generic information that comes up. And then there's also the requirements, like what needs to be completed. The next thing that you have are user stories and tasks. And when you put your user stories and tasks together, you then get a very clear way of accomplishing anything that seems really complicated. In each of the subsequent videos, that's what we're gonna be making, is user stories and tasks. So let's talk a little bit about user stories. User stories give context to something that needs to happen. So you might say like, and they usually follow this format as a blank, I want to blank so that blank, you know, and so that might be as a parent, I want to make dinner for my kids so that they can be healthy and full and go to bed and sleep through the night, you know, that sort of thing. And then the tasks that I would list out would be associated with that. And it might be, you know, to make a dinner. Now, it would be a different type of a user story if I wrote as a chef in the royal court I wanted to make a state dinner so that the invited dignitaries will be impressed with the grandeur of our kingdom and the whole type of dinner that you would want to go about for making that would be quite a bit different and if you're thinking Jeff that's a very random case I actually just got back from a trip to Madrid where I went to this Palacio Real de Madrid which is this huge palace for the kings and queens of Spain and we actually stood in this ballroom. I didn't take this picture because you're not allowed to take pictures there and I follow rules. But I was thinking like, man, if I was making a dinner for that place, that would be complicated. But anyhow, one more thing about user stories. You can write user stories however best suits your situation. This is something that I've tried to illustrate in my other Super Badge videos, but I've never really explicitly explained it. So big user stories tend to include lots of tasks. And when I say big, it doesn't mean it's like, it takes up a larger piece of paper. I'm saying like, when people could look at a user story and be like, wow, that's a big user story. What that means is there's a lot of tasks in that user story. A small user story would include fewer tasks. And I like to think of this as if there's like this continuum, you know, between going up and down here where at the top you've got complex and at the bottom we're looking at simple and then so and depending on where you are for that whether you're an expert or a novice and so as you think about it if you are a expert but you're doing super something super complex you're still going to want to create small user stories meaning a user story that has very few tasks because it will be easier for you to accomplish each thing with less tasks on that user story. So you have to write it in such a way 
that's smaller. So to take example back of our palace dinner, you know, I could write one user story that said, I want to make dinner for the entire, you know, state affair. That's a very, very big user story because what's going to be included in that is all of the different courses. There's going to be the salad, the soup, the palate cleanser, <laughs> the main, the dessert, whatever comes up in those, you know, sorts of fancy dinners. A way of writing that smaller would be to write a user story for each course. So for the salad course, we're going to write one user story for that and there's going to be associated tasks. For the soup course, there's going to be one user story for that and associated tasks and so on. Just trying to make that big complicated thing a little bit easier to follow along. Now, if you're an expert um, and the task is simple, making a chicken dinner for my family, I might just say I'm making dinner, you know, and I don't need to break that down into like washing the broccoli and cleaning the, kit, the chicken and then whatever. So too, if you're doing something simple and you're a novice, you're still going to want them to have a small user story. And if something's complicated and uh, you're a novice, you're just going to want to make it as tiny as possible. So that way each thing just has a few things to do on it and then you'll be able to knock them out of the park. So with that, that's our introduction to user stories. If you've gone through some of my other Super Veg videos, you'll know that in some of them, like the Business Administration and Lightning Experience um, Super Badge, I I sometimes will go to like a bigger user story because in those I spent more time explaining the business requirements and giving background there. Um, in this series, I've stuck to doing small user stories. So that way, assuming, you know, either if you view yourself as an expert for this and it's complicated, um, I, I don't really consider this <laughs> anything that happens on Trailhead to be simple, um, but I, that's a relative thing, I guess. And as you get more, comp more confident, then things do seem simple. In any case, I hope this video gives you a setup of what user stories and tasks are. I hope you start to feel the power of what this approach can do. And I hope you use it really for the rest of your career anytime you're faced with something complicated. And with that, we're ready to start seeing the user stories and tasks for each unit. And I'll see you in the next video.